This is the dawn of a new era in British karting. Over 550 drivers in 12 classes competing for victory over 18 race weekends. This is the Motorsport UK British Kart Championships. Chris Whitton takes the flag. The British Kart Championship for TKM, Honda and KZ2 make their long-awaited return to the classic Kim Bolton circuit in Cambridgeshire. This weekend sees the conclusion of the KZ2 Gearbox Class Championship and the crowning of new champion Adam Glear, who, after nearly a decade in the British Championship, finally clinches his first national title as a true privateer. Yeah, so, so this, this season's been, uh, been pretty, pretty tough. I, I mean, the, uh, the level of, co of competition has been uh, very, uh, very strong, you know, ra racing against uh, you know, the likes of uh, Dan, uh, Scott and, and, uh, and Jimmy, all uh, you know, ex-champions. Uh, Heading into this weekend, you know we're uh, you know we're looking to do uh, the best we can, you know, uh, uh, get as many points as possible, you know, to seal the championship. Glenister on the inside, Kelly on the outside. Then on row two, the number four of Cannon on the inside, and the number 41, that bright delivery card of Shane Daly. Engine notes rise, lights are on, lights are out. We go racing at Kim Bolton. It's a great start from Shane Daly. It's a rocket start for number nine, Lee Ward. And they're three, four wide going into Stone Corner. Oh, there's a spin in the middle of the pack. And that was one of the cop cart chassis. I think it was Tom Longfield that went for a spin and uh, that was one of the Sony carts that had nowhere to go and T-bone him and the Sony cart driver out of the race. The rest of the field go down the Amitsu straight into Dan Weldon corner. But up at the front into Kim Bolton corner now to complete the first lap. It is pole position holder James Glenister leading Dan Kelly, Shane Daly, Adam Clear is in fourth. Then it is Lee Ward in fifth, Daniel Gould is up in the sixth position, Ryan Cannon seventh, Miles Murphy is in eighth, Hannah Lang ninth, and Scott Allen rounds out the top ten. Matt Sherwin, the privateer driver on the Sony Kart chassis, who had a great start in the first final before there was a retire he had a retirement. That's why he was starting down at the back, and he is now out of the race. Into Kim Bolton corner we go at the end of lap number two. It is still Glenister leading from Kelly, then the very distinctive livery of Shane Daly. Leah Ward, fourth and fifth, and oh, the number 17 of Tom Longfield, retiring Scott Allen in the number 25. Jade Cart's entry has also retired out on circuit after obviously getting involved in that initial tangle. So we're down. Nicholas Jenkins has retired as well. So we're down just 15 runners. Dan Kelly closing in on James Bannister at the breaking for Stoke Corner as we begin lap number four. Fast lap the race for Ryan Cannon. Well, Cannon, a poor start for the driver of cart number four. He is the second of the red and white Viral ART chassis used by the Andy Fairless racing team. But we go out of Dan Weldon corner, up the TKM straight, through Kestrel corner, a very short, sharp burst at Laser Straight, into Kim Bolton, Kelly, hard on the brakes, now goes up through the gears, they cross the start finish line, he is in Glenister's wheel tracks, Clear meanwhile, passes Shane Daly the third, as they break the stone corner, now they go through the willows, they flick right, then left, right again, onto the Amitsu straight, all the way down, long, straight, hard, run into the breaking zone for the Dan Weldon corner and of course after the late Indy 500 and IndyCar champion Dan Weldon who begun his career here at Kim Bolton cross the line
through the willows. Kelly right behind. Down towards Weldon's again. Earlier on, with Dan, who is a part of the fixtures here at Kimbolton, his mum, Sue Weldon, is a lap scorer for many years, the late Sue Weldon and Clive Weldon, Dan's father, also a very integral figure of the club here at Kimbolton. But the leaders come through the willows on lap number seven. It is Glenister, Kelly, Glea, then Daly, Cannon, Murphy, Ward, Gould, Lang, and Adam Rustling, who's made good progress to the back of the grid. He is now 10th. Mark Stimson runs 11th, and Dan Arlett and Ryan Domes are next. Ashley Lewis is 20, in 24, is 14th. Amazon Chilcott has not been a happy return for Amazon Chilcott. He is down in 15th position. We've only got 15 carts still running, and it's still James Glenazunis. Hannah Lang makes a move to the inside in the number 91 MK Racing Tony Cart. And Lang picks up a place at the expense of Adam Rustling. Still, Dan Kelly inches ever close to James Glenister. Will he make a move coming into Kim Bolton Corner this time around? The answer is no. Now around Stowe, into the Willows. Still 10 minutes to go. A long way in what will be a very physically demanding, arduous race for the KZ2 drivers. The first final went to 27 laps. So you can expect this one to go a similar distance. 35.34 seconds. James Glenister, that's James Glenister's fastest lap of the race. is keeping Dan Kelly at bay. They complete another lap. Adam Glear is 1.3 seconds behind these two. So Glear is not making significant progress. Behind them, Scott Allen is recovering, trying to gain grounds in the number. That's Ashley Lewis, I think. Sorry, Scott Allen's out of the race. Ashley Lewis and in the number 24, Beryl Carton is... Uh, Similarly mounted, 84 of Anderson Chilcott. They are battling tooth and nail for 13th position. But up at the front, the leaders. The Fusto corner once again. The top six carts all still in contention with the very bright yellow cart of number seven, Miles Murphy, closing in on Ryan Cannon in sixth position. Cannon in fifth. We'll go through Weldon's once again, and up the TKM straight towards Castro Corner. Glenister, Kelly, Clear, Daly, Cannon and Murphy. Then a big gap back to Lee Ward in seventh. And Lee Ward's got Hannah Lang right behind him. Behind Hannah Lang is Adam Rustling and Daniel Gould. To complete another lap. There goes Murphy to the outside of Ryan Cannon. But he doesn't make the move stick. Has to fall back into line. And on the main straight those leaders. Matt Murphy signalling to Cannon to push on. Also, Ira Cadets only going twice as quickly. And Dan Kelly, he closed in on James Glenister, but Glenister is keeping him at bay. You can see him working down to the gears. And the group of court now back up to the gears, onto the main straight. And then hard on the brakes. You can see the back end of the cart staying pretty well planted there for the top two under braking for Stowe. And it's again just balancing the power of the car through the willows, hard on the gas, up the gears, down the Mitsu straight. And again, they flick left, and as they flick left, it's hard on the brake, down from the gears for the right hander at Weldon's. Out of Weldon's, back up the gears, never ever ceasing in these carts. Hard at work all the way through this 960 metre lap. Last time around, Dan Kelly was just three hundredths of a second quicker than the race leader. The gap remains three tenths of a second. Adam Clear, a tenth quicker than the top two. He's inching towards them. Shane Daly's beginning to fade away a little bit in fourth place. And Ryan Cannon is still under pressure from Miles Murphy in sixth position. 
then there is a big gap back to the seventh place battle four carts number nine Lee Ward of the 91 Hannah Lang number 44 Adam Rusting and number 51 Daniel Gould they fight over the remaining places in the top ten but while it's all static at the front Adam Rusting moves past Hannah Lang for eighth position behind them and further back there's the number 24 cart going in the still corner that is Ashley Lewis passing Dan Arlett for what is now 11th place. Still got 15 drivers running. Four drivers, Tom Longfield, Scott Allen, Nicholas Jenkins and Matt Sherwin, sadly, out of the race. Leaders complete another lap and now Adam Glea is visibly closer to Dan Kelly. Break the stone corner once again. The top three now separated by just seven tenths of a second. Last time around, a 35.38 for Adam Glear in the number two cart. 35.5 for the two lead, the top two drivers in front of him. James Glanister. The rush performance, Maranello driver from Wimborne is coming under increasing pressure now. Dan Kelly, the driver of Blockley for Andy Fairless Racing and Wolverhampton's Adam Clear. Now they're going to see what James Glenister is made of. Glenister third in the championship standings. So these three drivers leading the way at the moment have been, say by far and away, the class of the field because uh, Scott Allen, who came into this weekend for the championship, was only five points behind Glenister. But the top three in the championship battling for the top three positions in the last race of the season and that seems quite fitting ladies and gentlemen that it's these three drivers that are battling out the podium places in a season where they're just between the three of them they have won three well they've won four of the nine rounds between them they've been by far and away the most consistent drivers of all. Lannister hasn't got out of the way yet. Now Clear is right behind Kelly. Here comes Clear up the inside of Dan Kelly. Under braking for Kimbolton Corner. Adam Clear takes second position in cart number two. Four minutes to go. Adam Clear, will he sign off his title winning season with a victory? We'll see in the next four minutes as another car in the department position comes into the pits to retire. That is Ryan Jones in the number 47 rush performance entry. Starting at the back and he will finish early. Leaders James Bannister, his teammate, completes lap number 19. We move on to lap 20. Now, by my reckoning, there's about six or seven laps to go. Clear and Kelly have now got to get their heads down to catch Glenister as they head down the Amitsu Strait into breaking for Weldons. Out of the... ...degree right-hander. On the spit onto the TKM Strait, the Kestrel through lasers. Now around Kim Bolton corner. Glenister has really got his head down. He's now lapping quicker than Clear and Kelly. So Adam Clear, whilst he was chasing Dan Kelly, was the quickest man on the track. Now he's past Dan Kelly. Neither he nor the outgoing champion are able to keep pace with the number 77 car in front of them. Shane Daly still runs in fourth position, but is all on his own in fourth place. And Cannon and Murphy, fifth and sixth, are fading behind them. Then there's a long way back to the seventh place battle, still headed by number nine, Ireland's Lee Ward. Lee Ward in cart number nine has got Adam Rustling in the Sam Moore racing number 44, Hannah Lang in the MK racing number 91, and Daniel Gould in the rush performance number 51, right behind him. They are now 10 seconds behind race leader James Glenister, and Glenister, is just six tenths of a second in front of number two Adam Clear. In their team battle for the lead, in their race for the lead, because they haven't started battling just yet. 
I have to say though, it's not too far away if clear in the next 1 minute 45 seconds. Gain another couple of cart lengths on Glenister. He'll pick up the slipstream and Glenister will have to defend. And that will allow Dan Kenny into the fray. At the moment, Glenister is maintaining his composure out of Kestrels. Short, sharp squirt on the accelerator and then hard of the brakes down for the years for the Bolton corner. Around Stone. Through the willows. One minute to go. Leo was quicker by a tenth on that last lap than Glenister. The gap less than half a second now. Kelly is going with Leo. He's staying in his slipstream, picking up that vital couple of fractions that he needs. And the next moment, Shane Daly in the number 41 cup car. Ireland is fourth. Ryan Cannon still holds off Miles Murphy in the fifth. On to another lap. This is now lap 25. 30 seconds to go. Lannister onto the Abitsu straight. Glances over his shoulder. Just to check to see where Glear is. The answer is he's still right there. Kelly is in Glear's wheel tracks, waiting for his chance to strike. In Bolton corner. Dan Kelly late on the brakes there. Really good run for Dan Kelly. Are we going to see a move from the number one plate on Clear going to the first corner? He looks to the inside. Backs out of it though at the last minute. They cross the line. The clock strikes zero. Next time around, they will get the last lap board. This is lap number 26 out of 27. Glenister's lead has never been more than a second. And now it's just three tenths of a second. Up TKM straight for the penultimate time in 2019. Clear and Kelly are right there. Who is going to emerge victorious? We are going to find out in approximately 40 seconds time. 950 metres to go. Glenister gets a good run off the corner. Clear has to defend from Kelly under breaking for Stowe. Is that going to give Glenister the gap he needs? It doesn't look like Adam Clear is close enough to outbreak him into Weldon's. Glenister doesn't have to defend. Clear is preoccupied with Kelly. Around Weldon's we go. James Glenister is going to take, well, he's a couple of corners away. It's going to be a second win of the weekend for number 77, James Glenister takes the checker flag. New champion Adam Clear finishes second, and Dan Kelly, outgoing champion, finishes his title defence. Second in the point standings, but on the podium, the rest of the fields come across the line with Shane Daly in fourth place, Ryan Cannon in fifth, Miles Murphy comes home in P6, then Adam Rustling wins the battle for seventh place ahead of Lee Ward, Hannah Lang, rounding out the top ten, Daniel Gould. The only other finishers as the KZ2 season reaches its conclusion were Ashley Lewis, Dan Arlett, Anderson Chilcott and Mark Stimson. That has been the 2019 MS Motorsport UK British KZ2 Karting Championship. We'll do it all again in 2020. The 2019 KZ2 Championship came to an end here today at Kim Bolton. A fantastic season of racing. Final won by James Glenister. Champion in 2019, Adam Glear finishing second. And reigning champion Dan Kelly. His championship reign ends with a third place finish. What a wonderful season of racing.